hello everyone and for today i will show you how to enable aero glass and full glass on windows 10 rs3 and up so right now i have the windows 10 creators file update aka 1709 aka rs3 and i will show you how to enable aero glass from rs1 to rs4 and rs5 okay first things first what you need to do uh go to this site virtualcustoms.net and from here but first uh you need to make account after you make account uh you will be able to see these download links and download the latest Aero Glass for Windows 10 1.5.8 exe file okay I will download it right now and after that uh, you will have a link to this site and on right side you will see also download link click on that okay the arrow glass exe file is downloaded and I will copy this to my desktop okay here's the arrow glass I will run this app I will click on I accept I will go next do not change the location of this folder go next and then just go next and click install and here I will click finish and like you see I already have the arrow glass on my windows 10 the effect is just amazing and after installation in right down corner uh, you will see this it's it's a watermark arrow glass for windows 8.1 and uh, you will see this uh, website uh, glass8.eu so if you go there let's type uh, glass8. and from here uh, you can buy the arrow glass for rs1 rs2 rs3 so you can buy it and you will be able to use arrow glass without this watermark and without this message so I have the arrow glass and from this arrow glass icon you can adjust the effect of arrow glass on your windows I will click OK and from here uh, you have a theme and appearance uh, you can set the theme atlas image uh, I have already show you a tutorial how to enable glass effect and arrow glass on Windows 10 also you can enable glass reflection image 
and from the appearance you can change a blur effect radius okay I will set it to 3 and here you can choose from Windows 7 or Windows 8 style I will choose Windows 8 style okay uh, you have a caption color I I have set this to black click on save then you can have glass colors accent uh, you can play around with those options but for this team atlas image and glass reflection image I have already made a tutorial tutorial uh, where you can download these images so let's go next uh, let's go to enable glass effect on Windows 10 uh, if you follow me and if you follow my videos and team reviewing I am always using the system transparency but the system transparency it's not so good application uh, it is good uh, when you run it but when you shut down the windows and when you start up the windows the app will forget any options that you have set it up even you have enabled a startup option so I will show you another app and that is black glass and I will extract the files from the winrar okay and here I have the black glass and I will not run it yet because I do not have the custom theme. It is the best in this case for glass fact to have custom theme or let's say black window explorer or black background. Okay, I will show you right now what I mean. Uh, let's say that I will choose this custom team. Okay, uh, give me a second to change uh, start menu and taskbar. Okay, uh, like you see, right now I do not have the full glass effect on my on my windows okay but if I run this black glass if I close the window Explorer and if I open it again uh, you can see that I actually have the most amazing glass effect that is same as from Windows 7 and I think that at least for me black glass and H uh, app is never worked for me without arrow glass application so I think that you need to install arrow glass so you can be able to to use black glass application but at least you can try to use only black glass application and you will see the results okay and also the options and appearance of black or of arrow glass excuse me uh, options of arrow glass will affect the black glass effects and look at that it is really amazing to see this great effect okay let's choose another custom team and let's see how it looks like look at that and this is a real glass effect on Windows and right now I will show you the difference between black glass and system transparency I will close the or before I close the black glass I will show you some great options 
and right here if I, if you go to right click and go to options uh, here you can enter the process or application that will be affected with glass effect so right here I have the explorer.exe and cmd.exe and these two locations or apps will be affected with glass effect and also here you have startup click on enable and the black glass is enabled on Windows startup and also uh, every time you change these fields uh, please click on change and that's it and now I will close the black glass okay I do not have the glass effect anymore and now I will I will run system transparency okay system transparency is running I will go to right click setup and info I will enter the number I will click these boxes to enable the glass effect also here like I said you have startup option but every time when you shut down windows and when you start it again the options will be lost in this application so I will click OK and uh, you can see you can see that I have the glass effect with system transparency and I will show you one more thing if I low down this number I want to show you that system transparency is affecting whole window and the black glass is only affecting the explorer so only explorer will be affected with glass effect with black glass with system transparency you can see that the whole window is affected with glass effect and I do not like this and like I said um, in comments I'm always getting that system transparency is forgetting the options after startup okay I will exit from system transparency and I will run the black glass and also keep the bga.ini together with blackglass.exe okay now this is it and also you can play with arrow glass options here so uh, that that is uh, how to enable arrow glass and glass effect on Windows 10 uh, you have different you have the different versions of arrow glass it's up to you what you are using which Windows version do you use from RS1 to RS4 okay that's it um, thank you for watching this and see you next time if you have any questions please write in comment below and that's it thank you